Okay, so let's go for England player ratings out of 10. I want to bring this video out before the match report because I feel quite strongly about some of these. Don't want to sleep and make it too robotic. So let me know what you think. Am I too harsh? Am I too nice? And welcome to this video supported by Sports News Blitz. So let's get into it. The front row, Genge and Stewart scrummaged well they didn't go backwards now Genj did give away some technical scrum penalties but he carried really well it was a better game than his last two Stewart has been the standout prop for sure good scrummaging he did give away some penalties towards the end though which brings his score down so I think Genj seven Will Stewart seven I think I was pretty happy with those Jamie George I'm probably saying a six because even though he tackles his heart out he just has no impact in the carry. He doesn't do special things, which hookers need to do. And there were some line-out problems, so I say a six for him. A Toje Martin, solid stuff. I'd say sevens for them. Do the tackles. They're not the quickest guys around. They're just a bit too samey. But again, decent performances, seven out of ten. Cunningham South was pretty quiet. A six, I think. A couple of gain line carries, but he does look a little bit more leaden-footed than some of the other back rowers. Who should be there? Well, of course, I would say Ted Hill, wouldn't I? But he does have an impact. Maybe off the bench is his position, but he was OK. But six out of ten. Then the star men, Sam Underhill, I'm giving an eight out of ten. His attack was excellent. His line for his try was fantastic. Turnovers everywhere. Really replaced Tom Curry and then some. Showed that maybe he should be starting at seven. And I think carrying wise, Ben L came to the party big time. Very explosive. Great footwork. Beat loads of defenders. Lots of England's best attack came from him. But then his missed tackle on Diolande was a real bad one. Otherwise, he would have been maybe a nine. So I think he's down to an eight. Then into the backs, Jack Van Portfleet. It's got to be a four or a five for me. Just just doesn't add anything. I don't know what he did that Ben Spencer couldn't have done. Didn't make the breaks, got charged down, looked very nervous. A couple of high passes towards the end, stopped some momentum. So he's an OK scrum half, but he's not anywhere near that top level. Marcus Smith, he makes things happen. He's a box of tricks. He's got the sidestep. Created a good try there at the beginning from nothing, going round to the blind, some good crossfield kicks. Then in the centres, Henry Slade we see has lovely hands, lovely soft hands for Slightholm's first try, some big kicks, but just has no stopping power in defence, has nothing in attack, there's nothing he can do about it, he just doesn't have those physical attributes, so I'd say a 5 out of 10 for Henry Slade. Ollie Lawrence has tackled really well defensively. He's been good. Struggled to make the gain line. I think that is a lot to do with England's coaching. Their attack plays aren't particularly deceptive. So I'd say a 7 out of 10 for Ollie Lawrence. Tommy Freeman, pretty quiet. Maybe a 6, maybe a 5. Good under the high ball, but just isn't showing that threat in attack out on the wing. He's a good player. He's got to move into the centre. We've got to see him there because he's not getting involved enough and to merit his place, I would say. But yeah, high ball, I guess you could argue. Then on to Freddie Stewart. I think it's a five because we saw both sides of his game. Fantastic aerially. In a straight line, he can get some pace going. But defensively, he is simply not agile enough to be a world-class 15. So what do they do with him? I don't know. I think he's just not quick enough. He's not agile enough. Too much reliability. But it's tempting. Now the kick is more of a weapon. He probably will play some more. So 5 out of 10 for Freddie Stewart. And this week, I think I will give a coaching mark. And it has to be a 3 out of 10. Defensively, they gave away tries. They do not need to shut the door every time. Attacking-wise, I didn't see the variation. I didn't see the offloads. The launch plays were really poor. I think the coaching is hurting England quite a lot. So those are my scores. Pop yours down below. Love to know what you think. Subscribe, like, that would be great. And I'll catch you next time.